India's farmer leaders have decided to mobilize farmers nationwide on a range of demands, including India's withdrawal from the World Trade Organization. Thousands of Indian farmers have been protesting against the central government for days now. They are demanding a legal guarantee on the minimum support price for 23 crops in farm loan waivers, among other things. Farm leaders met a day after the death of a 21-year-old protester at the Punjab-Haryana Khanauri border. Farmer groups alleged the demonstrator was killed during clashes with the Haryana police, who stopped the farmers from marching to Delhi. Farmer unions suspended their march for two days on Wednesday in the wake of the death. Go to the young farmer's house who died and see. Is he some rich farmer? Is he a millionaire? Does he have expensive fancy tractors? He couldn't even pay his debt. Why was he protesting? If you go deeper into the matter, you will see how bad the financial situation of farmers is. The way everyone supports corporate houses and big businessmen, we want everyone to promote farmers and laborers in the same way. Farmer union leaders have asked the neighboring Punjab government to lodge an FIR under murder charges. They are also demanding a Supreme Court judge-led judicial probe into the death of the farmer. The leader said that the farmer union SKM would observe February 23rd as a black day by burning effigies and holding demonstrations. The farmer leaders also gave a call to observe February 26th as quit WTO day. They have appealed to farmers across the country to conduct marches and parking tractors on national and state highways as part of the protests. The farmer leaders have also planned to hold a Kisan Mazdoor Mahapanchayat or a mega gathering of farmers and workers on March 14th in New Delhi, uh, the iconic Ramlila ground. Farmer leaders gave a call for a march to Delhi earlier this month. However, protesters were stopped at the Punjab-Haryana border as they marched from Punjab towards Delhi. They have been camping there for days now. For more on this, our correspondent Dharam Jyot Kaur has sent us this report. Take a look. Day 11 of the farmer's agitation. We are currently here at the Punjab-Haryana Shambhu border. Now to get you developments from the ground. Today, thousands of farmers are observing what they're referring to as the Black Day. Now they're commemorating and mourning the death of a young farmer, Shubkaran Singh, who's in his 20s. Uh, he died a couple of days ago at the Kanori border during the protests and clashes with the police. Now, apart from the ground, a few developments in terms of what the union leaders are taking decisions and discussing at the moment. Of course, last night there was news that Haryana police had decided to take action against certain farm union leaders uh, under the National Security Act. However, as of this morning, they have reconsidered that decision and no case or complaint will be filed under union leaders under the NSA. Now, union leaders from other farm unions have decided to carry out other forms of protests and agitations as well. February 20 six will see a mega tractor rally and foot march across different states of India where thousands of farmers will be registering their protests and reiterating their demands especially of legal guarantee on MSP and the need for them to withdraw out of WTO or the World Trade Organization. Now, in the month of March, of course, uh, there is a mega rally or a mega meeting or a Mahapanchayat that has been planned in New Delhi. Thousands of farmers from hundreds of unions have decided to stage a sit-in discussion and protest at the national capital to make sure that the centre pays heed to their demands. With video journalist Shekhar, this is Dharam Jodh Kaur for We On World Is One.